In this video, we'll see the third type of recording that is analog recording. In previous video, we have seen one was the default recording, second one was low level recording and now the third one that is analog recording. Now what is the difference and everything we'll see after we record the application. So for that, I'll use the same application that was calculator. That is the calculator which I've opened here. Okay, on this application, I'll be doing this analog recording. How do I do that? I'll keep my cursor at the last line. Okay, I've put a comment analog recording so you can classify easily. I'll just click on this record button. The moment I click on this record button, my screen minimizes UFT and uh, you see this recording, the name of the test. From here, I can change to default to analog recording. And now I've got the screen. So the screen says something, but it is hidden at the back end. So if I try to move it, it will not work. So there's a shortcut method. You can move the screen, alt space from a keyboard. So when I press alt space, you can see there's move and close. So I'll press enter for this move and then I'll use my arrow keys to move the screen, right? So remember, alt space is the shortcut to move the screen from one place to another place. Now, let us see what it says. Select whether to record mouse operations. How do you want to record the mouse operations? One first option says record relative to the screen. The very first option says with the backend screen, the entire your computer screen. Second, it says with relative to specific window. So this is my window, specific window, which I can work. So I'll say I want this specific window. So I'll select it that click on this calculator. And if you see window title is nothing but calculator. So whatever um, operations will be recorded with my mouse, that will be only on this window. So I'll say yes, start analog recording. So now my recording has started. That is the analog recording. Now what I'll do is I'll just do the same thing. I'll click on this one, two, three, MC, MR, okay, view, scientific. So I'm trying to play with this calculator. I'm recording something and I'll click on standard. After that, I'll just click on this stop recording. So once I finish everything recording, what has been done is in analog recording, there is only one line of script which is generated window calculator dot run and log track one. So now all the steps which are recorded, it's just one line of script. You cannot modify, you cannot edit, you cannot do any changes into the script. Suppose you want to delete any line, you can delete in the other two. But whereas in the analog, it will not be done. It will just capture the movements of your mouse and your cursor. So suppose if I want to execute what I've recorded, okay, I'll keep my cursor here. If I want to execute from this step onwards, I don't want to execute the entire screen. So what I can do is I can just go to this run and I can say as run from step. So wherever my cursor is blinking, my recording will uh, execute from this place itself, the test. So I'll say as run from step. Okay. And I'll say as run. So you see what will happen here now. So recording uh, execution has started here. So execution done, but if you slightly uh, replay it and see the mouse was moved properly here with respect to the screen, the screen was at the back end and showed it. So when can you use this uh, recording type that is the analog recording when you want to draw a signature, when you want to draw some scratch that time only you have to use this analog recording. Whether it is, it is very bad into recognizing the objects with help of its properties and values. Even if the developer gives you a new build, it will not be able to recognize. It just understand the movements of your cursor, where it can be used. I'll give you an example where it can be used in the Microsoft Paint. So I'll open a paint. I'll do three types of recording in paint, normal, analog, and low level. And you can see the difference in this recording part. So now I'll go back to my script itself and I'll create here some comment. difference in recording in MS Paint. Okay. So I've brought it here and for that, what I'll do is I'll open the Microsoft Paint again. Yeah. Here's the paint which I've opened. Now, how do I record all these three? So I'll just click on this record button. Okay. Once I click on this record button, which recording mode I'm right now, I'm in the default recording mode. So I'll just keep this on the top. Okay. Default recording mode. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this pencil button and I'll just type here as P. Okay. So in default recording mode, I have typed here P. Let us see the second one. If I go to this analog recording, okay, it gives me this kind of screen, which is at the back end. I cannot move it. How do I move it? The shortcut method is use alt space bar from a keyboard and then you can move the screen. So I'll press alt space bar from my keyboard. You see that I've got it enter and I'll bring it some better place. Yeah, this one. So how do you want to record with respect to the screen or with respect to the window itself? So I'll say with respect to this window paint, I'll click on this paint. I mean the hand window, click on this 
okay yeah untitled pane that has been captured that is untitled pane which is captured now any movements of the cursor will be captured relative to this pane window so i'll click on this start analog recording same i'll draw with this p again yeah so what i've done is with default recording analog recording and third one i'll go back again and i'll see as low level recording so i'll type here as p again okay so three types of recording i've done and finally i'll just click on this stop so let us understand what exactly happened was first one was the uh, default recording so if you see that was the first one default recording it tried to identify the object with the help of its properties and values you see that's a win button pencil second type of recording windows pane dot run analog that is the analog recording and third type of recording if you see the last lines last lines if you see that is nothing but drag and drop and all the coordinates are given so all the three types of recordings are given now what i'll do is i'll go to the paint and rub it everything whatever whatever i've done there yeah so i'll just select everything from here select everything and i'll just erase it i'll delete everything i don't want it right now so i'll press delete from my keyboard why 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 i'm deleting is because i'll execute the script again and see which one will work and lock low level or uh, you know default recording which will work properly so i'll just go back here okay i'll keep my cursor at that location and i can just go back to this run menu bar and i can see as run from step so if i click on this run from step so my cursor was at that location i'll click on this run button so you see what will happen yeah so this one was normal default this one was analog and this one is low level so you can observe which recording work properly so the recording which was nothing but the analog recording work properly let us see once again i'll just go back to action i'll keep my cursor at this location and run menu bar i can see as run from step and i'll click on this run observe which one will work properly okay because it is overwriting it so therefore we are not able to see it but remember analog recording is the best one when we want to see the sketches which you draw or the signature which you have you want to write it that time analog recording will work low level and default recording will not work properly so i hope you are able to understand what is the difference and what exactly is analog recording that's all for this video